Hello, today we're going to learn about Murphy's Mate. This mate is named after the American chess genius Paul Murphy. This checkmate pattern is done with the help of a rook and a bishop. For example, you start off by giving a check, push the king to the corner and now bishop will give a discovery check. You can give a discovery check from everywhere. But if you go to the G file, pawn push and the king lives. So take the pawn first, king goes back, check, back and now just give check anywhere on the g file king cannot go anywhere rook blocks you take the rook you win the game in this first example white to play and win would you take the pawn or would you give a check queen takes pawn will lead to a win but rook check is better black is forced in the corner and then you get to sacrifice your juicy queen black takes it Bishop takes back and a mate. Second example, white to play and win. You see the rook is there, lined up, bishop is there. You know the pattern. You take the pawn, push the king into the corner. And now, where does the discovery come from? Not on the G file, but by taking the pawn, forcing the king back, check, back, and now you go to the G file. King is stuck, queen blocks, you take the queen, Rook blocks, you take the rook and you win the king. Third example, white to play and win. The bishop is there, the rook is there. You know what to do. Take the pawn with the rook, king goes to the corner. Again, where do you give the discovery? By taking the pawn, king goes back, check again, back again and then anywhere on the g file give a check queen blocks you take the queen pawn blocks you take the pawn rook blocks you take the rook and you win the game fourth example white to play and win this time there is no rook on the g file how does this rook reach here by sacrificing the fat queen black takes it and then the rook reaches g7. King is back in the corner. And now the big question comes. Where do you give the check from? There's no pawn here. You do not need to go there. Do we go here or there? If you do this, it's a mistake. The black bishop comes in and you lose. So just chop off that bishop. King is stuck. Black has to block it with the rook. You take the rook. You win the game. Fifth example, black to play and win. No rook on the g file, but there are two rooks on the seventh rank. How do you reach here? By sacrificing your own rook. If white moves the king, you take the pawn, king moves, and a mate. So white needs to take the rook, and then the other rook goes in, king goes to the corner. Now again, where does the discovery come from? Do you take the pawn, or do you go this side? If you go to the side, it just repeat. So, take the pawn, trap the king. White has to block it with the rook. You take the rook and you win the game. Sixth example, black to play and win. Bishop is looking there. Rook is already there. You know what to do. Take the pawn, push the king into the corner. And now, again the big question. Where to give the discovery from? No pawn on here. So maybe no need to go there. But do we go here or here? If you give a check from here, the rook can block it and the white king lives. So you need to block this dummy queen by giving a check from here and there's no way for white king to run. Rook moves, you win the rook, you win the game. Last one for the video, black to play and win. This one's a bit different. How do you finish him off? You sacrifice your tasty tasty queen. White is forced to take it and then your bishop joins the party and you win.